good morning children already you studied about in your fifth lesson monetary economics the meaning and definitions of monetary economics and the functions of money evolution of money and functions of money now in this session we are going to see supply of money okay so what are the various aspects included while uh, calculating the supply of money in the country so first of all we have to know what is supply of money so the supply of money is refers to the total amount of money in an economy okay total amount of money in an economy namba country la irukkoodiya motta pana thoda alavu enna abdingiradha paakanum which is always includes the circulation of money in an economy okay and it can be viewed at a given point of time money supply is at a point of time is referred to stock and over a period of time it refers to a flow and you may be expected this for one mark question answer i will explain this one point of at a point of time at a given point of time is represented as stock it which is nothing but what is the money supply during this time okay for example we can take the past 10 days or today what is the money supply in the country or the past one month what is the money supply in the country at present at a given point of time we are specified the date okay so today what is the money supply in the country that is refers to at a point of time it refers to stock over a period of time okay for example last year what is the money supply in the country as compared to now this year what is the money supply in the country so for the comparison purpose over a period of time okay last year or uh, uh, last century what is the money supply in the country that is refers to as flow are you clear children yes money supply is nothing but total amount of money in an economy which is in circulation in an economy at any given time okay so money amount of money in an economy in our country la ethana panam pulakkathile irukku circulation gerad adha pulakkathile evlo panam irukku nu paatha supply of money okay and uh, money supply at a point of time in the point of time la in the specified date la in the specified month la what is the money supply in our country that is called stock and what is the money supply in our country over a period of time last 10 years or a last year or last comparison with the two years what is the money supply in our country that refers to as flow and this is an important determination for calculating the price level and interest rate okay so it plays a crucial role in determination of price level and interest rate while we are calculating the price level in the country or the rate of interest in the country whether it is a demand deposit or a savings deposit the interest rate in the country this money supply act as an important determination are you clear so there are three points to remember here money supply is nothing but total amount of money in an economy and it helps for the calculation and it, it Uh, sorry and it plays an important role in the determination of price level and interest rate over a period of time it refers to as flow and at a point of time it refers to as stock next we are going to see meaning of money supply okay so money supply or a meaning and already you know that who is the authority to print and circulate the currency notes in india children yes very good rbi reserve bank of india okay so it is also called central bank okay so you may be expected for one mark question all these things the currency notes are issued by reserve bank of india and do you know who is issuing the coins we are uh, using the 5 rupee coin 1 rupee coin 2 rupee coins is it not children so who is the authority to issue those coins very good it is a ministry of finance government of india da ministry of finance da inge supply pannuvanga rbi issues the currency notes and ministry of finance government of india issued the coins okay so besides these things we are including the other uh, in other uh, money while calculating money supply what is that balance in savings account okay number savings account la enna balance irukku that is also calculated while calculating money supply and current account deposit held by the public in the commercial bank ipo nammukitta edavadhu or deposit pannirukko bank la edavadhu or deposit pannirukko na and amount yum ange eduthupanga appo money supply ingiradhu enna appadina namba country la circulation la evlo panam irukku அப்போ பேங்க்ஸ் கையிலையும் எவ்வளோ பணம் இருக்குது நம்ம சேவிங்ஸ் அக்கௌண்ட்டில் எவ்வளோ இருக்குது நம்ம டெபாசிட் எவ்வளோ பண்ணியிருக்கோம் இதை எல்லாம் சேர்ந்துன்னு தான் மணி சப்ளை ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் மணி சப்ளை திஸ் கரன்சி நோட்ஸ் 
okay not money supply this currency notes is also called as fiat money or legal tender money okay you may be expected for one more question currency notes are issued by rbi coins were issued by ministry of finance okay the currency notes is also called fiat money or uh, legal tender money okay fiat money or legal tender money and rbi publishes four measures to uh, measuring the money supply four measures we are using to measure money supply they are called money supply you no know? so that is why they called as m1 m2 m3 and m4 what is that m1 m1 includes only currencies coins and demand deposit okay namba country la circulation la mothu namba country la currency evlo irukku coins evlo irukku demand deposit ipo vande demand deposit la unakku nalla therinjirukku commerce la nee padichirpa appo demand deposit evlo irukku appdi ingrad ellathaiy include pannitena that is called m1 are you clear children so what are the things we added in while for m1 currency coins demand deposit along with this if we include the post office savings deposit okay post office la patha nariya savings deposit la irukku and the deposit ayum idoda include pannidona that is called m2 are you clear so m1 plus post office savings deposit are you clear and m3 is nothing but this m2 plus time deposit of commercial bank and cooperative banks ஓகே இப்போ இது பார்த்த எல்லாமே கரன்சி காயின்ஸ் டிமாண்ட் டெபாசிட் போஸ்ட் ஆஃபீஸ் சேவிங்ஸ் டெபாசிட்டோட சேர்த்தி டைம் டெபாசிட் இப்போ வந்து இந்த டைமுக்கு தான் அது மெச்சூர் ஆகும் இப்போ ஒரு ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ்க்கு தான் நம்ம ஒரு டெபாசிட் பண்ணியிருக்கோன்னா அது ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் கழித்து தான் மெச்சூர் ஆகும் ஓகேவா அதான் டைம் டெபாசிட் அந்த டெபாசிட் கமர்ஷியல் பேங்க்லேயே ஆகட்டும் கோஆப்ரேட்டிவ் பேங்க்கில் எவ்வளோ இருக்குது தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ இன்க்ளூடட் ஃபார் எம் and m4 m4 is nothing but m3 plus total post office deposits here we uh, we saw here m2 is savings deposit post office la irukkudi savings deposit mattum dhaan inga calculate pandrom ana actually post office la paathana nariya deposits irukku ipo nee recent ah kelvi pettirupa selva magal thittam selva magan thittam adellame oru deposit dhaan illaya kana appo adha ella deposit seitha m4 so m1 gerad enna kana very good coins currencies demand deposit m2 ngirudhu plus post office savings deposit you have to mention post office savings deposit and next one time deposit and uh, m4 la total deposit and m1 m2 first two are called as narrow money okay m1 and m2 are called narrow money m3 and m4 are called broad money okay va children this you may be expected for one mark question okay so m1 m2 are called narrow money m3 m4 are called broad money okay now we are using before uh, before uh, uh, before 10 years we are using to mesh, uh, symbolize our currency it is rs is it not rs nu pota rupees nu artham illa ekana apdi da pannu ana now we are using this symbol as a currency symbol of india okay do you know who has uh, uh, symbolized this uh, design it is nothing id uh, yaar pannanga na d udayakumar okay a post graduate uh, of iit bombay okay vekara nariya per vande 2009 uh, liye vande government announce pannanga idu pole yaar kavudu ideas irundhuchina inda symbolize panni adoda meaning yum kudukkonu nu solliranga adile finally yaar idu select pannanga appadina d udayakumar apdingiravara அவரோட அவர் தான் கிரியேட் பண்ணது இந்த சிம்பிள் அதை அக்செப்ட் பண்ணாங்க ஓகே இது எந்த வருஷம் அக்செப்ட் பண்ணாங்கன்னா இட் கேம் இன் டு யூஸ் இன் ஃபிஃப்டீன்த் ஜூலை டூ தௌசண்ட் டென் ஓகே இப்போ பத்து வருஷம் ஆயிடுச்சு ஃபிஃப்டீன்த் ஜூலை டூ தௌசண்ட் டென் ஓகே அண்ட் இந்த கரன்சி சிம்பிள்ங்கிறது இந்தியா தான் ஃபிஃப்த் கண்ட்ரி டு அக்செப்ட் அ யூனிக் கரன்சி சிம்பிள் இப்போ எப்படி அமெரிக்கானா டாலர்னு போடுவோம் ஜப்பான்னா என்னன்னு போடுவோம் சாரி சில்ட்ரன் ஸோ ஜப்பான்னா என்ன போடுவோம் பிரிட்டன்னா பவுன்ஸ்னு போடுறோம் இல்லையாக்கணா அதே போல் இந்தியா தான் ஒரு ஃபிஃப்த் கண்ட்ரி டு அக்செப்ட் அ யூனிக் கரன்சி சிம்பிள் ஸோ த ஒன் மார்க் கொஸ்டின் யூ மே பி எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் ஹியர் இஸ் த கரன்சி சிம்பிள் வாட் வி யூஸ் நவ் இஸ் டிசைன்ட் பை டி உதயகுமார் அண்ட் வென் இட் இஸ் கேம் இன் டு யூஸ் ஃபிஃப்டீன்த் ஜூலை டூ தௌசண்ட் டென் அண்ட் வாட் இட் சிம்பிளாய்ஸ் இட் இஸ் டெரைவ் ஃப்ரம் த தேவாங்கிரி ஸ்கிரிப்ட் ஓகே ரா விச் மீன்ஸ் ரா okay vakana and uh, india is a fifth country to accept a unique currency symbol and the next one we are going to see determinants of money supply 
okay what are the determinants while we are calculating a money supply what are the determinants it is nothing but there are four determinants one is currency deposit ratio reserve deposit ratio and cash reserve ratio statutory liquidity ratio first we see currency deposit ratio name itself they'll give a meaning money held by the public and that they hold in bank deposit if we have a bank we can't put it safe in the house we can put it in a bank we can put it in a bank that is called currency deposit ratio currency deposit that is called currency deposit ratio next one reserve deposit ratio reserve we can learn to learn the meaning of reserve reserve is two things we are calculating one is cash in hand and another one is deposit of commercial bank with RBI. If you run a RBI or a commercial bank run or a private bank run, they will give you a permission to get a certain amount of rupees. Every commercial bank they have to keep as a deposit with RBI. If you don't want to close it, you can close it. Who can respond? You can respond to your bank's merging. You can respond to your bank's merging. அப்போ இந்த depositதான் அவங்க வந்து base பண்ணிதான் அவங்க இதே குடுப்பாங்க ஒரு permissionே குடுப்பாங்க commercial bank so reserve deposit ratio நான் என்ன ரெண்டு திங்க அடுத்துப்போம் cash in bank and deposit of commercial bank with RBI commercial bank ஒரு private bank RBI கிட்ட என்ன deposit இருக்கு அந்த amount எடுத்துடா reserve deposit ratio yes next one cash reserve ratio Okay, so bank must keep with RBI. Over a bank may or a certain amount of deposits of the RBI guitar that is called cash reserve ratio. And next one is a statutory liquidity ratio. It is nothing but it includes total demand deposit and time deposit of commercial bank in the form of a specified liquid asset. Okay, in the end deposit at the bottom of the bottom of the total demand deposit and time deposit okay children so currency deposit ratio na currency ya namba vandhu eppidi deposit pannu irukko bank le deposit pannu irukko reserve deposit ratio na cash in bank and deposit of commercial bank with RBI and cash reserve ratio banks must keep with RBI statutory liquidity ratio it is total demand and time deposit Okay, so you may be expected this only for a one mark question answer. Supply of money, amount of money in circulation at a point of time, stock over a period of time, flow. And who is the authority to issue currency notes? RBI, coins, Ministry of Finance and for money supply, determinants of money supply. Okay, children. Okay, next class we will see the quantity theory of money. Thank you, children.